everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Theorycraft. We're taking Spellblade and we're placing it on Nuwa and fighting on Muzing Cobb. Not my favorite matchup, not gonna lie. Actually, extremely upset that I got this matchup. Um, well actually I can sell. Sell. I only need, what, two health potions? Yeah. I'm gonna take the two health potions I got. And I just start with the Telkin's Ring. Everybody was requesting Nuwa and Emir. Um, I chose Nuwa being this is for mages, not guardians. But I will think about giving Emir that spotlight if you guys really want it that bad. Um, but we'll see. Oh, I did not mean to blow him up. I kind of needed his extra damage. There we go. Anyways, so, you know, and I, I've been getting a lot of awkward comments that, they like, I, I, they, hmm, it's hard to, like, place that, you know, people are like, oh, you're so condescending. Like, that was literally a quote from one of them. And I thought to myself, am I? Am I really? I don't think I am. Alright. Yep, bad idea, buddy. Uh, anyways, and I was like, I don't remember being condescending, ever. I mean, oh, okay, well, I'll go ahead and get rid of that, because why not? Now, mana is a heavy thing for me. I can't be spamming it constantly, but uh, definitely make this difficult for him. And so that's a potion. Got him to proc. I have no idea where the hell that one went, but... Okay, my basic attacks are lagging. I don't need my ult. I will not be using it. It will be 120% useless. Um, just because of how weak it, it really is. Gotta protect them. Oh, he's all five? Oh yeah, I am too. Ow. Yep. Nope. I died. Second. Second I didn't notice he was all five. I was... Ugh. See, and the funny thing is, too, about that is I'm not used to, um... <laughs> I'm really not used to, uh, not getting my ult. My ult is my way of knowing we're level five. I didn't get it, so I was like, he's level five, and it should have clicked. It did not click, ladies and gentlemen. Let it be known. All right, well. Uh, I doubt he's there. He did get a kill. He's going for devs, which is going to give him life steal, and that's nasty, but whatevs. I've got Telkins. And my minions here really do uh, a lot of damage. I just had that feeling he was going to get that hit on me, which sucks. It really does. Uh, but I guarantee you he went for a red, which is fine. I got my ult this time to remind myself where the hell he's at. Good chance he went left. People tend to go left. I want to say that. I could be wrong. 120% wrong, but he could be. I'm taking it. I mean, I'm not going to grab it, but I'm just going to take it. We're almost to my third minion, which is very important. It's stupid important to have all of my minions. Ooh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay. He's not a good snipe, but he would have killed me. Would have. Did not. Very happy with myself. Getting the hell out. That's gonna happen. You know what? As much as I would want hasten right now, I just need to grab as much attack speed as I can to fight him. And really all my ult is right now is for those moments where I need a breather, I guess. I don't really like to build new wall with this at all. In fact, I was gonna just tell you guys I really didn't want to. But this account is designed for testing, so it's... It's a good test if that's what you really want, and it seems that's what you guys really want. So, it's what we're gonna do. This attack speed's getting insane, though. Got 
Got him. Got him. He's dead. Like, if you could be any more dead, that's what he is. D E A E D. Dead. <laughs> he is two E's of dead. Alright, come on. We just need to. There we go. So I got full minions now. This stuff is gonna hurt him so bad. I'm gonna love it. But the only problem currently with this build is it's heavy on the attack speed early. So the only damage I have is Telkins. And the unfortunate thing is, he's got Hidden Dagger. And that goes right into crits. And right off the bat, that's gonna hurt. Badly. Like, stupid badly. Like, really stupid, amazingly badly. I just hope he's one of those people that likes to uh, go glass cannon. Because that really helps me. Okay, well, just check for hives. That's what I gotta do. If he comes over here, like, seriously. That was a bad idea, man. I could have told you so many ways to not die, and that coming out like that was one of them. Right, I don't deal a whole lot per basic, but I've got three additional minions wailing on it, and then, of course, I'm wailing on it, which I don't deal all that much to it in the first place, like I said. Mmm, you like to hummus me good, don't you? All right, okay, I got gotcha. you. And his bees, or oh, minions, is it bees or minions? What got the kill? His bees. They actually dealt 60 damage to me, holy balls. But I got the movement speed I needed. Damn, that one basic really screwed, oh not one basic, but one ability, hit me for way too much. Way too much, so we're gonna, not gonna let that happen again. His alt should almost be back, but I've got a lot of movement speed. So here I go. I actually need him to hit me so the minions go right for him. Or he kills them all. And I cannot damage him. Wow, this build is so weak. And he's got disarms too, so... Okay! Uh, they stopped hitting him? What? Nonsense is that. Your tower is under attack. Kill that one, kill that one, kill that one. And we'll do that. Yeah, that lifesteal is going to make him really difficult to fight at all. And if he got any defense, which it feels like he did. He's, it feels like he's got it. Because I can't even hurt him anymore. It could be the hives healing him and his life steal, which is ridiculous, especially if he crits. These minions should take this out. No problem. Take out a hive. He's probably going for his red. But can I go for my red uninterrupted? But I'll lose my tower. I kind of need it. Because if he pressures me up to my phoenix, I'll be in trouble. Damage is so not real and or existent. I'm literally relying on Telkins to deal everything I've got. Let's see, Telkins is... I can't hit a bay. I can't hit a basic. I got I got disabled and couldn't hit a basic. Oh my god, I am so bad at this game. I, I should have just ulted, and I didn't want to because I thought he'd kill me during the up, but... And my ult's level 1, so it deals only 100 damage. And he got Ancile. Oh, shit. Okay, so he just countered Telkins, and all my attack speed is literally for not. I don't deal basic attack damage. Which is why I didn't think this would work on Nuwan in the first place. Because of this exact reason. Nuwan doesn't have anything to amplify her basics. At all. It's just a root. It's not damage. It's a root, guys. Alright, try and deal as much damage as I can here. I 
Let's see, does he have 100 life? Yep. So, so useless and weak. He, he can honestly literally lifesteal. I couldn't even hit it. Couldn't even hit it. I actually need 300 gold too to make this worth something. Oh, this is this is what I get. This is what I get. I knew this wouldn't work on Nuwa. Like you have to be powerful. You have to be healthy with her too. But you can still get a hasten. It's just you need a combination of such to really make it work at all, which I do not have at all. So, um, I was gonna get that, but I need to go. Oh, he's, he's counter. He's taking away all the power I have with that runic. But I'm gonna get an obsidian shard, which will uh, heavily protect me, or go through his protections, because that doesn't give him health. He gets power, but he doesn't get health off of it, so. Pretty happy about this. Now I need to amplify my basic attack with something. Purple buffs is the best way to go, because I have no power. No point in getting red, to be honest. Those minions are like all of my damage. And that's maybe the thing that like people like this on Nuwa, because her minions and the explosion and the combo deals a lot of damage, you can make it pretty viable just with that alone. He's gonna life steal off of them. I can't even stop that. I can't even land a basic. What is basic attacks? So I actually need to stay back a good distance. You got me. There's nothing I can do. It's this build has no power, it's got literally nothing I can do. Ah, <sighs> so killing the minions let me he's gonna take my blue. He doesn't have red, but he's got blue, so he's gonna refresh blue, but I can take red. For that, I believe. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I walked out with actual pen, um, which gives me more power. So now I actually have some power to fight him. And like I said, he doesn't reduce the damage of Telkins other than with his protections. You know, and for as bad of a build as that is, it, it's good against this build in particular until I get Rod to Hooty. Then I should hurt. But it's such a late game build, it's stupid. Oh my god, I can't kill minions. Gotta kill them. They're actually gonna kill me. Yep. Like, can't do anything. I even have more movement speed than him since I have a be better combo uh, with movement speed with these two blades. But again, no power means no win. And I really need this. And I can't kill minions, because if I use any of my spells to kill said minion, it does me no good. Okay, well. And then my power to kill minions is pretty much diminished. He's got a Titan's Bane. Oh my god. Can't kill minions. Like, I couldn't if I wanted to. I really want to. Trust me. Everything I want to do. He's got such a basic build, this is stupid. I know I could beat this build, too. It's like the worst feeling in the world. Damn it. Even if he backs after killing a wave. Ah, uh, the damage on that. And again, if my minions go at him, he life steals them. I just have to slowly back up. He killed me. <laughs> but that, but I, I did my best to fight that, and honestly, there's nothing else I could do. Its build is not designed 
for gods who cannot amplify their basic attack. And maybe that's that's what I should have said in the Spellblade. So right now I'm already going to declare that this build is not viable because it is not an attack speed build. It is instead a basic attack build that's built for those who can amplify that type of damage. Nuwa is not one of those gods, unfortunately. She deals very minimal amounts of damage. Very minimal amounts. As long as I remove his highs, which he's been casting ridiculously quick, I'll have a better chance, but not the best chance. My attack speed's really good, too, which is stupid. Oh, uh, well, your honey was a stupid choice, sir. Good, I'm honeyed, so now my minions will outright fight him. Well, he sped me up. Not sure that was a brilliant idea. Well, but he's setting up for a very defensive stance. Alright, I need to get this for a little more power. As long as he keeps coming in and running out. Oh, which... Again, can't kill minions for dick. Oh, snipes through the walls. Damn. I really need this thing to come back right now. And now my titan will heal from the nothing it is to something. And what I'm actually going to do is run out here um, and kill the next wave of fire minions. Okay, so I can get Rod, which I need. He's got a shield of the underworld. That's no problem for me. I don't deal all that much damage. Could use sprint, I guess. Just a better weave out of his crap. And I guess... Oh no, he's going right up the front. Titan is healing, so I need to keep it alive as much as I can, but his build is going to go right through this shit. Go defend. He's not making the greatest of decisions, for sure. Took a lot of ta attacks from the Phoenix, and he shouldn't have. He should have waited for his minions. But um, I mean, props to him, I guess. I can now. Uh, take this, which I'm going to save my minions so I can better take his stuff. Probably take it. I'm dead. <laughs> that actually is most likely game. Thought I could take it, but I'm, for some reason, not nearly fast enough. He's got an Aussie, which gives him more healing. And he's focusing on that, which is very unfortunate for me. But he's just going to dive my um, Phoenix, which he can do. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can do to stop that. I was going to get Weakening Curse, but I got Sprint, and now I regret that because I actually might want Weakening Curse. The other thing that counters uh, her is the fact that a person who can lifesteal can lifesteal off of her minions. And when they do that, it's pretty much game. Alright, so they'll help out. I need to back. They just feel that he's going to back door. So I got wards. A lot of people underestimate the power of wards in a joust match. I never will. There is great power in knowledge. Especially since he holds the advantage right now. 
So pretty much for how much he heals, I've got I've got to get him to hit me somehow without hitting my minions. Oh boy, here we go. Hmm. This is no good. He's gonna end up life stealing everything. And I can't stop that. I cannot stop life steal. I could get Divine Ruin to do it, but I can't because this build doesn't have Divine Ruin. It shouldn't ever need Divine Ruin. Should be able to take minions out, no problem. It got me. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing this build could do to stop that at all. I was boned the second, uh, I was boned the second new wall was in, but I did it for you guys so you could see how it was done, and it doesn't work. And I know it doesn't work. I knew that going into this. 90% of gods will beat new wall with this. Guaranteed. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the. Ooh, yeah, I'll give that. Anyways, hello, everybody, and welcome to the end game screen. Uh, so let's go over the build and show you exactly why it doesn't work on Nuwa, and that's because Nuwa needs more than attack speed. She does good, but she has nothing to amplify her basic attacks by. So when you are playing with this speed build, you're just attacking really fast as a wet noodle. Her damage comes from her minions, which reduce the protections of your opponent almost to zero, which is amazingly high. And then you just follow up with, you know, a stun, which dealt all the damage, as you saw, not my basics. I actually could not outbox this guy. It was impossible. Even though his build was, like, that build is atrocious. This build, and the reason it's atrocious, a weakening curse would stop that. Divine rune would stop that. Yeah, boots are boots. But two defensive items, both in which hardly give any power. The only reason this worked is because I could not buy any power because this was my only power item. This was my pen item. Defense, two movement items, and a Telkin's ring, which gives minimal power when they build defense, which he did. So let, let's. If I had actual power, my burst would actually still be enough to annihilate him in one go. I wouldn't have had to worry. Or if I had more health, I wouldn't have had to worry about um, him eating my minions immediately. There was just so much to consider in what happened, and there is no way to get this build to work on a god that cannot amplify his basic attacks. So for example, if we were to look at Poseidon, for example, he also cannot amplify his basics. Instead, he amplifies his basic attack with two abilities, which only stack abilities on the side and his one basic down the middle. So it won't work on those gods. It's very important to remember that. And I thought this video would be educational to that point, so here it is. Thank you everybody for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game!